So a couple of weeks ago, it was my birthday and I turned 37. Big old age of 37. Wow. And it just got me thinking, when it's your birthday and you get to a certain age, you start thinking whether you've made the most out of your life or you've you know, done everything that you can up until that point. And this video was basically, uh, it just came up and it was just, I, you know, when I was just thinking and, you know, if you are in your late thirties, like I am now, 37, that's yeah, three years to 40. Let's put it that way. If you're in your late forties or beyond, and sometimes you feel like, you know, time has passed you by, you haven't achieved everything that you want to achieve. I just wanted to make this video just to encourage you to say that it's never too late. There is still time for you to achieve those things that you feel like maybe you haven't achieved in your life. So one of the things that we tend to say and tend to do, especially when we, you know, when we feel like we're getting older and, you know, the birthdays are coming across or are coming, you know, every other year as they do, we tend to think, oh my gosh, am I ever going to be in the shape of my life like I was in my teens and my 20s and everything and I'm like there is still time to be in the best shape of your life and all that it takes is just discipline and discipline and discipline uh, you have to be committed to say you know in my late 30s going into my 40s I am going to be in the best shape of my life and I'm going to be disciplined enough to make sure that I am in the best shape of my life we've got family we've got kids we've got jobs and everything else but if you prioritize and you say you know this is my time for me to be in the best shape of my life you can definitely achieve that you just have to put principles in place to make sure that you are able to achieve those goals and anything is achievable when you make goals when you make you know tangible goals to say this is what i'm going to do this is my action plan for me to make sure that for example, in this case, I'm in the best shape of my life because it's possible. And I'm one of those. I'm saying right now, I train a lot. You know that you guys know I train a lot. I've got videos over here where I'm training, you know, all the time. But I've said this year is going to be the, you know, the year that I'm in the best shape of my life, better than I was when I was in my 20s. Because health is wealth we've heard that saying or you know all the time we've heard that saying health is wealth why i need to make sure that i look after myself one for myself look after myself for my wife that could be your spouse or whatever and also look after myself for my kids that's that's the reasons i'm doing it and you can do too you know there's nothing that is stopping you from achieving you being in the best shape of your life that you can achieve everything else that comes with it when you're healthy so yeah health is wealth and look after your health there's still time for you to look after your health it's not all downhill from here as other people may say to you and the next thing is for you to be comfortable in your own lane I, I speak about this all the time i think i spoke about this in a previous video that i made a couple of days ago a couple of weeks ago um, where i talk about just being comfortable in your own lane do not compare yourself to anyone else don't compare yourself to, you know, your neighbor, your friends who are, you know, in the same age group and you're saying, oh, but these guys have achieved X, Y, and Z. No, don't compare yourself to other people. Be comfortable in your own lane. Be comfortable in the race that you are running for yourself because that's where your reward is. Your reward is not in running your race how other people run their race. Your reward is not in copying other people's races because they could be on a, on, a, on a marathon but all you see is the last dash the last sprint and then you want to copy that it's not going to work out so let us in our late there is be comfortable in just running our own lane don't box yourself to unrealistic expectations because you know expectations of the world to say oh you know when you are in in your late 30s you should have been married by now you should have a number of kids you should be earning x amount no 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 don't box yourself to those unrealistic expectations because they just become a shackle on your legs is that what you i guess that's what you put shackles right yeah they just become shackles on your legs because then you 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 are confined to move as to where those shackles are leading you 
So don't box yourself to unrealistic expectations. If there, you know, if people put expectations on you, like no, that expectation is not for you. I'm gonna run my race how I'm meant to run my race. I'm gonna fulfill everything that God has called me to do, and I'm not gonna conform to X, Y, Z as the world expects me to do it because I am of a certain age. No, God has called me for such a time as this, and in this time, I will fulfill everything that I need to do. Now, lastly, we need to take action. There's no point of us, you know, saying all these things, I want to achieve X, Y, Z, and writing a list of the things that we want to achieve in our late 30s into our 40s, if we don't take action. We need to take action. And how do we take action? Just make sure that you, you know, you prioritize things that you want to achieve and you take action. Um, you know, as the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So if you make a list, and you don't do anything on that list, it's pointless. You've just made a list for the sake of making a list so that people can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny made a list as well. Nah, it doesn't go like that. Anything that's on my list, I have to be able to achieve those things. I have to be able to make tangible progress to see that, yes, those things are moving, those things are changing, and I'm seeing a change. You know, for example, for myself, for October this month, I wrote down, I'm going to make a video every single day for the month of October. And we are on track with that. We need to read a book or we need to read the Bible. I'm doing that. I'll be sharing some stuff that I've been reading as well. Spending more time with the family. You know, we've made a change lately that every single day we start utilizing the dinner table and we sit down with the kids. No gadgets, no nothing. That's what we're doing. And also just to make sure that I exercise every day. Have I been feeling well the last couple of days? No, I haven't. But whatever I've done, I've been able to still go out and make a video while I'm walking. So I'm still getting my exercise in. Those are like four things, for example, on, for this month that I've put on a list. And I'm taking action. So what I'm saying to you is we need to take action to make sure that those things that we've put on our list don't just remain on our list. We need to get moving, we need to get cracking, make sure those things get done and get ticked off. That way, we don't feel like time has passed, passed us by and we can't achieve the things that we want to achieve. No, we can. And you can. There's nothing stopping you from achieving the things that you want to achieve, period. That is all for this video. I just thought I'd just come on here just to encourage you. Um, say there's still time. Don't give up on those things that you know you've got on your list those things that you dream of don't give up just because someone says you're getting older or your your birthday tells you that you are getting older no 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 don't give up on those things there's still time to achieve those things but you have to take action yes take action thank you very much really appreciate you guys watching let me know in the comments what is on your list of things that you want to achieve especially if you're like my age late there is going even if you're younger just let us know so we can discuss, we can help each other, hold each other accountable. And yeah, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And yeah, maybe just watch this video here because YouTube thinks you like that video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.